Hello, welcome to Storytime. I'm Mel. And this, of course, is Big Ted, Little Ted and Morris. Three of my favourite bears. We are going to read you a story. Just before we get started, I don't want to embarrass anybody, but it seems three of you forgot your pants today. Bit awkward, isn't it? Oh, well, nothing like reading a story to break up the awkwardness of forgetting your pants. Today's book is called Koalas Stole My Undies. There's a koala with some undies on their head, on the front. Oh, much like you, Big Ted. I just feel awkward because I'm the only one wearing pants, but let's go. The story goes like this. When Lex put on his underwear, they always itched and twitched down there. Well, Lex, maybe that's because you've put them up on the fan here where it's a bit dusty. So Lex refused to wear a pair. Instead, he hid them everywhere. He flung them here and stuffed them there. He's digging a hole to bury his undies in. He even had them mailed by air. It says, return to Santa. Well, that would be quite a shock for the elves unwrapping that parcel. When Mum asked where his undies were, Lex could not bear to upset her. Instead of telling her the truth, each day he made up an excuse. On Monday, Lex thought to declare, koalas stole my underwear. The koalas are wrestling wearing his undies. What's that, Big Ted? You like wrestling. Me too. You're very strong. Oh, big biceps. On Tuesday, Lex said, Mum, beware, a rhino took four pairs, I swear. Oh, I see the rhino is using the underpants as knee pads for the roller derby. What's that, little Ted? Yes, roller derby, a very popular sport, but you have to be safe and always wear your knee pads, even if they're undies. On Wednesday, Lex just had to share, wallabies took my underwear. Hey, lads, check out my new man pouch, said one of the wallabies. Wow, where can I get one? On Thursday, Lex said, there's none spare. A tortoise took my last clean pair. And this tortoise is saying, whoa, nice shell wrap, dude. The tortoise has put undies on their shell. Very clever. What's that, little Ted? Yes, I'm getting worried Lex is going to run out of underpants too. In fact, Lex had enough ideas to last him for the next five years. There's a panda using the undies as a swing. Undies on the moon. A goat eating the undies. What an amazing imagination Lex has. And so his parents did not dare ask Lex about his underwear until one day while at the zoo, a wild excuse of his came true. Uh-oh. Poor Lex felt rather shocked, of course. That cheeky monkey took my shorts. He blushed and called for help from Mum as everyone could see his bum. Now, finally, Lex understood why wearing underwear is good. Those shorts are bananas. He wears a new pair every day, but in his clever, itch-free way. There's Lex wearing his undies over his shorts. Well, at least he's wearing shorts, little Ted. And that is the end of the story. Have you ever had your undies stolen by a monkey at the zoo? I, I have, yeah, but I will tell that story another time. It's time for us to go now. It's bye from Big Ted and Little Ted and Morris, and it's bye from me. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So do we need to go shopping for pants? Do you ha OK, we can... What's that, Big Ted? You forgot your wallet as well because it's in your pants. OK, I'll, I'll I can buy your pants. Yeah.